Yeah, yeah. And uh, beach grass and tubes just don't mix. Today we are going to review the Giant Stance E-Bike 1 Pro 29er. Let's dig into the stats on this e -bike. The bike comes in sizes small through extra large and has a really good looking metallic navy paint job. The bike comes in an aluminum frame with a RockShox Recon RL for the fork and a RockShox Monarch RT in the rear. The handlebar stem, seat post, and saddle are all giant. The bike comes with a 1x12 SRAM Eagle shifter, chain, crank set, and derailleur. The cassette is a SRAM PG1210 with a wide range of 11 to 50. The rims and the hubs are giant, and the spokes are optimized for e-bikes and made by Sapem. As you can see, it comes with 2.4 Maxxis Ardents. Now to what makes this an EEB. The motor is a Giant Sync Drive Pro. The battery is a Giant Energy Pack Smart 500. It's a 36 volt lithium ion. The bike also has Giant Pedal Plus 6 sensor tech that can tell you in auto mode what it needs to do to help you out. Staying on point, it has six different assist modes. My favorite mode, as you will see, is auto. It seems to know exactly how much assist it needs to give you. If you want to control it on your own, there are five other modes for you to try. There are Eco, Basic, Active, Sport, and Power. Power being the most powerful. Obviously, Eco mode will give you the longest riding range assistance, and Power will give you the least. In the chart, you can see the range in kilometers, and in miles that translates to about Eco having 40 to 68 miles, Basic having 25 to 52 miles, Active having 15 to 37 miles, Sport 12 to 34 miles, and in the Power mode, 9 to 28 miles. So enough of the stats, let's go ride this thing. This is how you adjust the power here. You've got a shifter. Here is Eco mode with one light lit up here. Then you can go to basic mode, active mode, sport mode, and power mode. I'm telling you what, just even in the uh, eco mode, I just pedaled a little and it just took right off. It's kind of crazy. Climb some hills in different modes. It's heavy. <laughs> that is for sure one thing. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're just in eco mode right now. We're gonna crash into the Harbor Transit guy. Is he stopping? Looks like he's stopping. So if I go down twice, now it's in automatic mode. <laughs> I think I kind of like this automatic mode. <laughs> Holy cow. Flying. The Eeb can just take anything on too. Heavy beast. All right. We looked both ways before we crossed the street. The shocks do lock out, which I don't care to do. Okay, so we're going up a hill. And it really doesn't feel like it right now. There's a little wall right here. <laughs> Sweet. Super windy out. I don't know how well the windscreen's gonna work. Coming in hot on the Eeb. Let's go hit up the skate park. <laughs> yeah, I just went on the drop the Let's go do something cool. I'm ready. Oh yeah. Wait, are you gonna have us in the video? If you want. Yeah. Nice. Like Superman. Oh yeah. All right. This is uh, this is a big hill climb. We're gonna see how it goes on the e-bike.
easiest climb up Water Tower Hill ever. Side trail, yeah, buddy. Oh, I almost missed this. Oh, look, you don't even need power anymore. Oh, let's go between the trees. Oh, we can go right through the sand. Got an e-bike. Now we're gonna test the suspension on the downhill and on the climb. We're gonna do a donut here. And we're gonna hit this downhill. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Soft and flush. Let's see how well this climbs back up. Full gas. Oh yeah, we're hitting the roots too. Right up the gut. Oh yeah, big root. Oh yeah. So much power. Soft sand, uphill. Big step up. <laughs> Eats up the roots, even the big guys. Narrow gap here. Woo! I don't want to come out into the cars and get scrunched. This time I'm going to put it in eco mode, as you can see right there, which is the lowest mode, and and then change it as I go up the hill to see how how much help it gives me. Right now I can tell it's already helping in eco mode. Eco mode's meant for flat riding, but we're not flat riding. We're going up a hill. I want to switch. Ooh, I felt the boost for sure. Interesting. <laughs> oh yeah, definite boost. Next mode. Ooh. Oh baby, I had to sh shift up a gear to keep up with the bike. <laughs> Next gear. Shifting up yet again, going up this hill, not breathing. I think, and that's the high mode. Should have brought my Garmin to see how fast we were going. Uphill. It's probably a good thing I didn't, because I'd probably get the KOM here, not breathing. That's Lake Michigan. One thing I do notice is that it is heavy, 
so when you're cornering and stuff you definitely feel the weight of the bike it's like uh, I think it's about just over 50 pounds so we're gonna sneak back up that little sidewalk I'm gonna put it back on auto I like auto mode you don't have to guess what gear to put it into we call it biking with ease This is pretty steep. It's pretty easy on the e-bike. <laughs> Takes off on you. <laughs> this is great. Sam Pilgrim has an Eeb, so I figured I should try out an Eeb. I think it's great for those days that are supposed to be easy. And you can just take your e-bike. Stay in the right zone. This is a hill usually you're gassed out when you get to the top because of all the soft sand. But with the Ebster, you just cruise. Maybe we should try to climb the ski hill. This is steep. That is a monster hill. I don't know, we're gonna give it a whirl. Oh, front tire's coming off the ground. Uh, Eamster. Oh, what's going on back there? Oh, shit. The Eamster has a flat tire. I have my pack in my car. Must be at 20 miles an hour because it's not helping me anymore. <laughs> Bottom line, I'm not an e-bike guy, but I know there are special situations in which an e can help someone overcome a limitation. I also think that the e can be useful and fun. Useful in the downhill track setting where you could just Eve up the hill and shred down. Remember when you're not pedaling it doesn't give power. I also think it would be fun on rest or active recovery days as a cyclist to still be able to get on the bike when you're not supposed to be hammering. Just my thoughts and these are just my thoughts. Stay tuned to be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on new content. I hope this video gave you some insight on the giant Eeb. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried an e-bike and what your thoughts are on the e -bikes. Thanks for watching.